Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everybody. This is for second Spartan. Welcome you everyone. Here we are on the second quest battle for Polrak. I don't know. And uh, yeah, this is the last vault. So having voyaged through the world in search of long lost artifacts spoken of in the Dem's Quran, Polrak has finally uncovered the door of the greatest relic site of all he has arrived just in the nick of time the blasted skaven have already arrived and are forcing their way into the vault eager to pile up the whatever they can find inside to claim uh, what is rightfully the dawis Torek must dispatch those rats and quickly further chittering echoes uh, through the surrounding caves uh, so they are likely not alone so here we go we have already completed this battle on legendary so i had uh, uh, just uh, i have recorded this one so we'll just uh, uh, go to the battle and the recording and i'll just uh, show you everything before that i want to show uh, the enemy forces this is the starting one but they have like total four armies coming the starting one is nothing the second uh, second third and fourth armies uh, all of them are like pretty crazy ones so yeah that's what so we have uh, completed uh, this one earlier and i already have uh, uh, what do you call it uh, the video up for that uh, so we completed in legendary about uh, the beast battle also and uh, this one is the uh, right one right now so yeah let's uh, go and ch catch you guys in the battlefield at long last, the lost treasures of our ancestors are within reach. So long have I dreamed of this day. To think of all we've endured here, so far from home. And now, brothers, our reward is finally at hand. What? No! Wretched vermin! How dare they sully this place with their vile presence! Warriors at the ready! Destroy every last trace of this racky pestilence! We can't let them breach the vault! These repulsive creatures defile our very history. For that, they will pay in blood! Hurry! Go! Kill Ox! Move now! Runesmith! Nothing can stop us! Okay guys, uh, we have done this battle, so this is the replay I wanted to show you. So first there will be like three attacks, two with, from both sides and uh, one from the beginning right now. So right now I was... Uh, this is a replay, so th that's why I, I, I wanted to show you like all the cinematic version of this one. So that's why <clears throat> right now we are just forming the groups and moving all the units. So let's see what so where Thorak is going. The first mission is uh, to uh, hold the hilltop over here. And so I place uh, some uh, missiles and other stuffs over there and try to guard it. And let's... Uh, I get a look of the Skaven team. So it's still uh, uh, all the formation is going on, and we are dwarves, so it is, takes a while. We put out all our wagons also in the line, some flamethrowers, the iron tricks have done. We have taken massive damages though, and their mage is already doing some damage, but glad we are Dowies, so we have 20% defense against, uh, against the magic. Okay, so the Iron Drakes are working right now. They are sending some Rat August. 
they're, they're just charging right there. A bombardment started. And uh, we just noticed the uh, rep grinder is uh, coming from the other side. So we need to place some of the units on that other side also. The flame guns, uh, flame cannons are really good though. Okay, almost the first line has broken through. But still, the general is right there fighting. So we sent our monster unit tackle with them. Okay, they're trying to flank this side and uh, uh, get on our artillery units. A unit of Skaven Slave was coming. And oh, they're out it. Blasted racking vermintide. They just don't know when they're beaten. Hold the past, brothers, and give no quarter. The might of the Dowie will not be broken this day. It's time to bring the wrath of Grimnir down upon them and cleanse this infestation once and for all. Okay, the first wave is gone. Yeah, this is, but a few of them are coming. There are like three reinforcing armies. One from this side, one from this side, one from this side. This is the biggest one. We need to get ready with our guns. And slowly, slowly we are just forming lines and stuff. I sent my Thane. His dude is coming. And he is getting burned through the flame. Yay! Burn boy, burn! Look at the giant rat he is riding. And he's trying to get, uh, get the hammerers. And our thing just run in. Oh, he's a mage. Our thing starts hitting him. Okay, and this uh, main line is coming. Our flamethrowers are at work. Or, uh, and this side already, these guys are attacking us. It's hammerers. And dwar dwarf warriors are fighting over this side. Those are clan rats, so. They're the minor ones. But you know, the main guys, they're dividing in both sides. And this magic is actually harming us so much. These guys are doing tons of damage. This is a crazy dwarf uh, firing going on right now. Look at this. Okay, Quarrelers working. I want to check the angle of the flamethrowers. Okay, once they come in, we'll, we'll come back to them. 
This, these guys have done so much damage. This side, another abomination is right there. I have to send my thane back to this side to hold. Here, our uh, Ruinsmith is holding this, uh, helping uh, to boost this uh, morale of Iron Drakes and stuff. Yeah. But this is kind of a cru crucial situation. Not yet. They have like so much more army coming by. Still our artillery is doing some damage. So that is better. Finally our monster is moving. Uh, look at these flames. Yeah. The Dowie flame magic. All these units are held by troll hammer torpedoes. Damn. They are missile units, but we are not even having any men to support them. On the other hand, that the bombardiers are also shooting like both sides this is like kind of that time when most of the multiple units are also coming out about one of the help it abomination is uh, almost losing uh, because of uh, the quarrelers also helping them and our monster was fighting with him and the thane is fighting against these guys this side is actually more crucial right now we need the fray Flame cannon actually left it because of uh, this uh, other units. The flamethrowers has to do that. The iron drakes has to do with their job. The slayers are fighting hard. They're good against large units, so most of the large units were here, that's why they killed one help it abomination also. The Ruinsmith is uh, helping this dude to hold the line. As they're uh, clan dress, so they, they, those are okay, point, pointless. Mo mostly the, look at this amount of clan dress they are sending. Okay, now let's give a look on our Thane. Just fighting one of their uh, agent. I can't even find it. This is a major ward. Okay, now he is silent and he ran away. And on the other hand, Th uh, Thorak, look at him. This is the main point. He is behaving like a king. Right now, going in in the middle, he will help this line as reinforcement a lot. Look at this side. Holy shit, what's going on, guys? Can you see that? So much abomination going on this side. Almost routed. Our front line routed. The stroll have our units are holding a little bit. These guys are th still throwing. The followers are really helping. But we need to send our Thane over this side. At least he's somewhat better in melee. This line we have like two units, but uh, the Ruinsmith is holding still. Now this magic is doing so much damage. Whatever the remaining units are there on the Iron Drakes, they are just dropping the bombs on like crazy. Okay, the Bombardiers are gone. The Storm Womans are fighting. Now Thorak is in the middle of lots of agents trying to protect his uh, artilleries. Up, 
Okay, our monster is surrounded by at least he is holding this line. They can't go through. And those are like tons of clan rats and uh, he is getting some help from the slayer unit too. These units are holding the hammerers and dwarf warriors are holding against the storm warming plus uh, the clan rats who are coming from this side. This magic is absolute irritating. And iron rattling gun has started. We need to keep on moving our general properly or else is it just too much? Okay, almost the last of the front line is almost gone. Okay, thanks. We got some support from the Iron Drakes. Artillery units are do not doing anything. These guys are holding. Monster is holding. This on this side nothing much is happening. Most of the things are happening in this side. Thora came out and finally our flame uh, iron drakes started. Flames iron drakes started flaming and oh 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 we are getting a wolf charge on Thorak. But he is winning. Pain is trying to stop this line. The wolves are coming back again on the pain. Rat wolves. Warbis. Wolf rats. Okay, we're glad the Iron Drakes are shoot, uh, throwing flames on this side. And slowly we see Thane is holding. He's getting reinforced by some Iron uh, Breakers. A few of them. And Thorak is going back on this side. On the other hand, the Ruinsmith got attacked by this uh, rude horror. Storm Vormin Halbert. Oh my god, look at this. With mutant Red Ogre and almost this unit. Dwarf Warriors are routing. Our Winsmith is almost dead. Now here comes the king. The king. Now he will use uh, some of the crazy things. Yes, the magic. Or else that, that that was like heavy group. Nice. The Thorak, holy shit, he is like face to face fighting this beast. Now he just used his ability to uh, increase his attack power. And now another bombardment to the nearby areas. And yeah, our Thane is back on the line. So far, the other side is already routed. So whatever the survivors, uh, Thorak called everybody in, so the, most of the battle is gonna happen this part now they have a new help with abomination incoming the ruinsmith came back oh that hammer magic with fire that 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 is really good that actually helped strong bombings are cha uh, charging on thorak and he should be using another ability i guess Yes, that does a lot of damage though, and he is going to help uh, 
The other man over there in the middle. The Ruinsmith is uh, away from the battle. This is really hard battle. It took us such a long time. Look at here what this Halpid Abomination is doing and this other guy, they're kind of routing, routing. Ah. And okay, there is one more monster incoming. The Mutant Red Augur is coming. Where is our Thane? Okay, the Thane is fighting with the Mutant. The leadership is gone though. Slayers, Antilage. Now, this, uh, this Help It Abomination has so much health remaining. Gorek is doing some buff over there. Yeah, our thing charges in on the strong moments. Should we run and flee? Save my own back! Okay, now Thorak ordered everybody to join in the fight in the middle. First get the mutant red. Thorak has lost a lot of health. If he dies, the battle is over. The mutant is behind him. Okay, the, the thing came on the mutant and he started routing on the back. Okay, now Thorak one side, the thing one side on this mutant red. Ah, he had enough. Oh, he's coming back. Oh, I think he's running. Now it's time for the help with the abomination. Okay. He has lost a lot of health thanks to the slayers. Right now. Thorak is here. Boosting the pain and whatever remain meaning survivors. My clan caught! For the ancestor gods! Yes! Yes! Okay, so here we uh, see I didn't do the expedition, 1104, 962 losses, only 142 remaining. This was Vermin Raiders, the first one. Not that much, uh, uh, Rap Grinders uh, and the Red Ogre. Uh, not, uh, haven't done anything, mostly because uh, it was too much of firing going on. Well, uh, this was the very big army with the uh, Packmaster and uh, two, three Storm Bowmans. Four, five storm bombings, rattling gunners, and wolf rats. Lots of wolf rats. This was the second army who attacked us, and these were the uh, last two who came from left and right with these assassins along with them, a master assassin, but tons of clan rats. But uh, ra uh, some here are storm bombings, storm bombings, storm bombings, and uh, blood horrors along with mutant rat ogre. That was the last one, and a hell pit abomination. This was another army with uh, Doom Flyers and uh, Death Globe Bombardiers. They have done a lot of damage. And this is the Hell Pit Abomination. Mostly my uh, Hell Pit Abominations are fought by my uh, Thane, so haven't done that much of damage. And uh, Red Ogres, like literally nothing. And uh, the Clan Rats. On our side, Thorak. Uh, Thorak, 273 kill. The ruins with 93 Thane, uh, he was fighting most of the uh, big bosses and stuff. And look, the amount of damage dealt by Thorak is 38,000. And the Dwarf Warriors, 206 and 229 kills. The Hammers, 245, 233. The Iron Breakers, 184, 199. Slayers, 255. And this Slayer got caught, 32. 
176 uh, uh, with them and uh, for the Iron Drake's uh, torpedoes, uh, 173, 328 kills by him, 91 uh, by Quarrelers, 105, 79 by Yoket Karnaso. And these are the flame cannons, uh, 431 kills, this uh, is the top kill on the flame cannon. And this is another 111. And they are uh, organ guns of 127 kills, so th uh, that's secured as a pirate victory. But yes, the victory is done. So, yep, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, uh, we hope uh, you enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed, please uh, drop down a like. Do consider subscribing the channel and hit the notification button. I'm not very old in YouTube, uh, so I'm trying to do all these stuff. And uh, for more videos will be coming up soon. Hope you enjoy this video. We have another first battle video for Thorek, uh, how uh, Thorek and the Beast. So it is already up. So this is the second battle fight for them. So on that note, yeah, this is for second spot. Signing off for now. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Until that time, have fun, be good, take care of yourself, and see you later. Bye bye.